Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog before the sequel! So, in the last episode, we... Well, I guess we played as the final Tails mission. Yes, spoiler! That is the final normal mission in the game. In this level, we will actually be doing weird things, and it will be cool and awesome! As you saw, we just hit a red thing that made us crush a bunch of blocks, and... How this wor level works is, we're in space, so gravity... Well, we're not really in space. We're in high altitude. We're in high orbit, I guess. And uh, they'll be using a lot of burners. They'll be using gravity effects to change how we move. And yeah, have fun the game. It's a pretty unique level, I have to say. I like how they change up everything and make things have a slight orbit or electrical shields or afterburner effects. It's, it's cool. I, I, that and they have wind things still, which is nice because we're not in space, we're in high orbit. So, this all makes sense. Now, oh, wasn't trying to walk off there, I was trying to bounce up here. Grab this. Also, as you might guess, since we're in high orbit, a lot of the time you will be bouncing higher than normal. There are, of course, exceptions, but... You know, every rule has an exception. If it doesn't, then it's not very flexible and probably will fail. Am I going backwards? Hope I'm not going back. I'm totally going backwards. I should now realize that. <laughs> and so all that thing, all those things I just did, didn't matter because I even lost the shield I got out of it. Oh well. Okay, here's another one. This one's green. Green will decrease your gravity. It is amazing and awesome and I love it. Unless you fail constantly like me. Constantly like me. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm trying for it at this point. I... Uh, what am I doing? Why am I completely unable? Unable? Enable? I can't even speak right. There we go. I finally got up here. I was actually expecting some enemies, but, you know, they're kind. And now increased gravity lets us break things, decrease gravity. Oh, we're still under the effects of increased gravity while having decreased gravity, so it was making us do a middle jump without anything. Like, it was making us jump a bit higher, but then we just crash straight to the ground. go. Increase our gravity a bit. Pop over here and break this. We skipped a little thing by being fast. Which is always nice because some of these puzzles can actually get to the point where you're just doing them over and over again failing. It's not exactly kind. And I flip that up, so I have to take the more difficult path. Can you... Now, does this take me... Yes, it does. And that one turns off gravity. Well, it doesn't turn off, it reverses gravity. So, effectively, if you run into that, you're going to be in a situation where you're going to try not to fall to your death. And if you suck like me, you'll miss every jump and miss that glowing platform like that you were trying to get. 
<sighs> okay, we're back. Now, like I was trying to show off, if you hit that, it turns gravity back to normal. So, you know, those are extremely useful for when you want to not die. But there are some ways to actually kind of mess around with the stage if you actually skip those. You can actually, what felt like almost sequence breaking, but I don't know if you were supposed to do or not. There's some areas that I just skipped by it and I actually got around much faster. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, I'm supposed to use the... I had it if I had realized what I was supposed to do. There we go, and... Use the wind to propel us all the way upwards, because we're light as a feather. And now let's not die. said not die, and then I proceeded to almost die. No. <sighs> Alright. And I proceeded to die. God, I suck at this game! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try taking this left path. See if it gives me anything better to work with. If I don't just, you know, overshoot. Okay, it just brings me here, which is the exact same thing. Fall up here, and we're... Ah. That's cheap. Oh, well. Now we're heavy as can be, and don't have to worry about anything. And now we're light as can be, and we have to worry about... Everything. Luckily, I had a shield to take that for me, and we fell back to the ground. Oh no. Um. Yep. These puzzles are dangerous as can be. And as long as we're standing on this, we're fine. But I made that mistake. I don't. It's weird, though. In every other situation that you have this uh, power-up, this uh, anti-gravity thing, you just completely turn it off whenever you hit these switches. But not here. You have to hit these ones over here for it. What just happened? There we go. I guess they're different kind of switches, like one's a temporary off and one's not. I don't know what that is. And we're done with Sonic. Forever! And no, this isn't a one-act stage, don't worry. Now we're playing as Tails. That's right, guys. You thought Tails wasn't getting any love here. Well, this in this situation, we're actually switching between the two. Tails gets to be heavier than a rock. He gets to be light as a feather. He gets to be everything between. And he gets, you know, actual credit. Rather than just being that side character who is there for a little bit. Just to make Sonic look good. Though, I have to say... I'm not really doing a good job of making myself look like an actual character if I stir up this with zero rings. Also, I'm still heavy. Great. Come on. Also, since we're in high altitude, uh, Tails' flying ability is seriously nerfed. It's not that he can't fly, it's just, it's acting like he's being blown around by wind, despite the fact that we're indoors. I'm not sure whether that's on purpose or not. I'm hoping it isn't, because it's quite upsetting to me. 
So I should have turned off gravity there. But apparently I didn't. I need to though, so I'm gonna, you know, actually do that. There we go. We don't need to take those unneeded hits. Um. Yep. No worries. Uh, until I do that. Okay. Everything's awesome! Alright, sweet. I was kind of worried there that I was going to fall to my death or something, but nothing to worry about! Everything is perfect. Everything is awesome and amazing, and I'm now heavier than everything. I have to say, despite my complaints that in a couple of the last missions that things were a bit difficult, I think that's a good way to send those characters off. Because this this area of the game is purely as the final mission, the final trial, if you would. And it's gathering everything you've learned, it's testing your skills, your ability to play both characters uniquely, and some of the si same situations, and seeing how the characters face on the same circumstances. Those last two missions, though, were so unique and different. I mean, Sonic had to go running up a bunch of walls, had to climb all the way up the Death Egg, and get to fight Robotnik. Tails was thrown off into some clouds and forced to fight this metal-headed jerk who, honestly, he's already kicked the crap out of so many times that I'm kinda wondering what this guy has against Tails. I don't know him, like maybe he was in the other... Is he an actual Sonic character or is he like designed just for Tails in this game? Like really. Either way, I like how it's just not Eggman during everything. <laughs> Alright. Finished it. I thought we were at the end. Tails got through Act 2. We're getting close, guys. We're almost done, and I'm really excited! Ah, my... wrist. <laughs> death Egg, Act 1. The last one wasn't actually technically the Death Egg, it was something else, but, you know, it's the Death Egg no matter what. There we go. So this is it, guys. I think this mission with Sonic is the final thing, and then we're finally done. We just have to take down Eggman once and for all. Oh, this one's seizure-worthy. I'm doing it. <laughs> if it's seizure-worthy, I'm doing it. Not that I actually making fun of people with seizures or anything, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. Really? There we go. I got the life and that's what's important. And... If I'm lucky... We will not need it. Because I don't actually, like, at all remember the final boss. Like, I remember part of it. I remember it's actually pretty easy, but I remember having one issue with it. Okay. Oh, right, I think I need to... Yeah, that's the issue. What the... Okay. There we go. I forgot about that. And we're sent all the way back here.
There we go. It's all platforming from here. Apparently I didn't actually need to kill that, it was just an enemy in my way. And luckily that guy's shield went down right as I was doing that. And we're done, guys. Instead of running off to the side, we actually just landed on top of the death egg.